First, I'd like to thank the organizers of Idea Wave. I think it's a really good idea in itself to have a format like this. Um, I actually am a little eccentric about this kind of presentation style. If I can go on a little bit of a tangent, sometimes my friends and I we uh, have these dinner clubs, and lately I've been subjecting them to a presentation-style format. So <laughs> put, a t put a chair on one end of the room and see who wants to kind of discuss things as a group. So, um, so what I'm going to talk about today is Integreen. So this is a nonprofit organization I founded just under a year ago. And basically what it's designed to do is create a central hub for the environmental movement in Victoria. So I'll talk about its history, uh, where it is today, and where I would like to see it go in the future. So the best way for me to explain why I created this organization is to kind of tell you my whole life story. So <laughs> hope you have a minute. <laughs> um, so... When I was young, my, my parents took me to a place called Vanuatu. It's in the South Pacific, and people there live off the land. And I had an opportunity to, to kind of experience that form of lifestyle for, for seven months. And when I came back to Canada, I really wanted to, to live that kind of lifestyle myself. And what I wanted to do was actually sail around the world and live in... Com incompatibility with that lifestyle and to save money for the trip I started working in a steel fabricating shop so during that time I started to work on a wind farm a wind farm weather station and it was a really interesting experience because it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that in British Columbia and in Canada, we still actually burn a lot of coal, and I was really surprised by that. So I started researching things, and I went into kind of a video shop. I was never exposed to the environmental movement before this point, and I picked up the inconvenient truth. <laughs> I am an Al Gore convert. I will not deny that. So after watching that video, I was blown away, and I thought, man, I can't sail around the world while the world is being destroyed, I'm going to come back and it's going to be too late. So I actually made a decision after a bit more research to hold off on the trip and really focus locally on trying to make the most positive impact that I could environmentally within the amount of time that we have. So when, when I tried to, to figure out how to do this, I... I was researching kind of online, like, okay, how do I make a difference, right? I was Googling it, I was Facebooking it, <clears throat> I was going to every event possible, and still, I could not find the answers that I was looking for. So, I, I even saw that Al Gore was coming to town, and I paid astronomical amount of money to see him speak. I was like, oh, cool, he's going to, like, guide me to the light. He's going to show me how to save the world. This is awesome. But I walked away from that with still no answers, so I figured... What I had to do was kind of find my own solution to it that would hopefully be in alignment with, with what some other people in my position were looking for. So I created Integreen. So there's kind of a couple different facets of it right now. Integreen.ca is the real hub, and then its first flagship project right now is Action First Concert Series. So Integreen.ca as a website basically pulls together a few different main features. There's a database of uh, most of the nonprofit organizations doing environmental work in Victoria. There's an event calendar so people can go see what's happening locally. All the environmental events are on there pretty much and it's constantly being updated. There's also uh, kind of something maybe some of the people in this room would be interested in but it's not being used too much right now is uh, an initiative and idea page so people can go on and post their ideas for environmental projects and anything they want. People, I actually posted one on a dried bean company and a couple people replied, oh yeah, I have a friend that has some land and they're looking into that right now. So you never know what's going to happen if you throw an idea out there. And there's also some, a really key feature is the volunteer and 
organization matching. So when you create a profile, you can fill in a checklist with all your skills, your knowledge, and your resources. So organizations fill in that same checklist, and then you get matched up automatically. So that has huge potential and just is going to take involvement of the community for people to actually start using it, and that's when things will come to more fruition. So I want to emphasize the point that Integreen is based very locally, and that's one of, it, one of the key features, because there are a lot of other organizations and initiatives like this, but they're on a much global, much larger scale, and it's too global, I find. So I found a few of them when I was trying to join the movement myself, and it's just, you go onto a website, oh, go to the event calendar, and you find something for Florida, for some environmental <laughs> conference. That's not what I'm interested in. I need to know what's happening locally. So there's a <laughs> bit of a chicken and the egg problem with any social network, and right now, like, basically, the, the dilemma is before there's users, users don't want to use it, right? So the chicken is kind of nonprofit organizations and the egg is the people using it. So without nonprofits actually posting their volunteer opportunities, there's not a lot of, there's still the event calendar and the database, which is still usable for some of the, to create some traffic with users. But what we really need right now is to have nonprofit organizations posting their volunteer opportunities. And then that'll really start connecting different skills and needs within the movement. And this is one of the things we've created is the Action First Concert Series. So this is potentially a really huge solution to the chicken and egg dilemma. Because it's a, it's a concept within itself that will generate quite a bit of traffic through the site. And what the whole idea is, is that um, rewarding people for taking environmental actions. So right now we've got 10 organizations on board for our first event on April 9th. And we've got a list of them here. So we've got Woodman Farms, Ancient Forest Alliance, Life Cycles, Go Beyond, Surfrider Foundation, Transition Victoria, Dogwood Initiative, Glendale Gardens, Wilderness Committee, and Victoria Car Share. So all of those organizations have hopped on board. They've laid out an environmental action for people to take. And if people take one of the actions, they get $25 off of a ticket to see Hannah George's play a show on April 9th. So right now, that's going really well. It's, great. it's creating a lot of interest. And um, we've actually had our first action take place. And there's last Saturday, and there's going to be an action every weekend from now until April 9th. So I'd like to show you a quick video that we made. I'm just going to bring over a microphone. This is our sound system. No, the other one, I think. Oh, really?
So yeah, I'm pretty much out of time here, but <laughs> just through this concert series, we're hoping to introduce people to environmental action and show them that it can be really fun to join the movement and to show them the opportunities that are actually available. And I think that as a community, we really can create change, but we can't do it in silos. We need to all collaborate <coughs> together to make sure that everybody's exposed to the opportunities available and that if we can work together to create a central hub, if everyone buys in and realizes the potential for collaboration, then our opportunity to create change on a larger scale is increased, and I think that's what's needed. Okay, thank you very much.